Hello, I'm Bob Norton, founder and creator of Airtight Management. Welcome to our 101 Video Best Practices series. I know that these proven practices will help you become a better manager and leader. We also know that companies that use even a small fraction of them over time become market leaders and world-class companies in their space. So best practice number five is having mutual trust within the team, whether that team is an executive team, a management team, a project team, a quality improvement team, any kind of dynamic team that's created. I like to cap a team at seven people because there's something called the mythical man month that shows the value of adding people starts to diminish the return of each person. But you could apply these things obviously in any size team. So trusting the other team members is critical. Like other things, it's not like communications, it's not optional. It's something you must do to have a high performance team. High performance teams do not try to one up each other. They don't play politics. Their success they see as the team success and they're going to help everyone on the team to be succeeding at whatever that team goal is. Essentially what this means is high trust generates high productivity. There's a very good book on this by Stephen Covey called The Speed of Trust that I recommend you read that will give you a lot more detail about why this is so important. And it's not just important on a small team. It's important in a business to business relationship, partnerships, joint ventures, interdepartmental uh, relations and of course on management teams and executive teams that have to work together. You want to flush out politics, but trust does not mean you trust everyone to do everything. I might trust someone to drive me across town in a car, but that doesn't mean I want to trust them to fly me across the country in an airplane, okay? Trust is limited. There is a limit to that based on the skill sets of that person. And the more you work with them, the more you'll know. So you've got to be asking yourself, what are the boundaries of trust too? But you trust them, especially if they're smart enough to know when they're outside their boundaries of ability, you trust them to come back. A good manager is going to know when they're out of their depth and they're going to come back to the superior and get coached, consulted, or, or find other resources to help them break through that problem. So that's best practice number five. Always develop, give, and expect trust and project that in a positive environment in the team. You really can't have a high performance team without high levels of trust. So thanks for joining us for this best practice video. I'm Bob Norton for Airtight Management and we'll see you in the next best practice video.